Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm making this video due to the sheer amount of people that are messaging me constantly about how to restore their device that they've just tried using Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 5, basically to update your baseband to 6.15.00. And they basically brick their devices, they can't reboot it, it gets stuck in either recovery mode or the Apple logo doesn't boot up. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. I'm going to put my device into a bricked state right now. I'm going to use iTunes to brick it, try to restore it to the original firmware. And when I'm back, hopefully I'll have a solution, guys, and I will be able to show you how to fix your device. Guys, before we get started, I want to let you know that this is for any 3GS or 3G that has been bricked using Red Snow while you're trying to unlock it with the iPad 6.15.00 baseband. And this will fix it no matter what condition it is, whether it's not booting or whether it's in recovery mode. And it works. I'm on a Mac. It works on a Windows and Mac. So don't panic about that, guys. And on with the tutorial. Okay, guys, I am at my MacBook right now and I will be restoring it into the official firmware which will brick it so I'm gonna hold shift or option and restore and I'm gonna select the official 4.2.1 firmware and if all goes well hopefully it'll brick it uh, for the purpose of this video guys so I'll be back soon so the restore is going good I guess <laughs> if you can call it that but it's going good okay so I got that famous error 1015 in iTunes and I guess that's a good what's up guys I am back and I have great news I have successfully fixed my iPhone from errors such as recovery or bricked it just won't boot I have fixed it guys and I will show you guys right now it has kept the baseband so you can unlock basically what I've done is I have downgraded it through iTunes to 4.1 and after that I have jailbroken it with lime rain well not yet but I will in just a little bit and after that you can go right into Cydia and install ultra snow which will unlock your device since it still has the 6.15 0.00 baseband so guys it's really not that bad it is fixable just like that and I'm gonna show you guys how right now so basically what you guys will need of course is iTunes 10.1 and your 4.1 version now it doesn't matter what condition your iPhone is in right now it doesn't matter if it's in recovery if it's in um, if it just doesn't boot uh, it's all fixable so what you wanna do is open up your iTunes and whoops um, so you'll open up your iTunes and make sure you have your firmware on your desktop and what we will be doing is putting our device into DFU mode so we'll hold power and home for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 and we'll let go of the home button just a second 3, 2, 1 so let go of the power button and keep holding the home button and you'll just keep holding it till iTunes recognizes it and I do mean let go of the power button. Sorry about that. So my iTunes has kind of frozen up, but in just a second it should recognize this. All right, so here we go. So your iTunes has recognized your device. It doesn't matter what condition it is, as long as you have put it into DFU mode. So remember, um, home and power for 10 seconds, then let go of home. I'm sorry, power, and keep holding the home button. And I'll put a in-depth guide right there that'll help you with this but from here you'll hold shift on a Windows PC and option on your Mac and you'll select the 4.1 firmware not to be confused with the 4.2.1 and you will restore and this is stock firmware it will downgrade it successfully and after it's done I'll be right back okay so once your device finishes restoring I know yay it's finally done um, for some of you maybe you have some trouble maybe you're restoring to a custom firmware make sure that you're restoring to the official 4.1 firmware by Apple and it will boot up but it will have an emergency screen that you'll have to slide to do emergency calls if you guys aren't legit if you're not using AT&T then you will um, you'll get that screen don't panic it's perfectly normal the jailbreak that you will do will solve this and basically we're done right here I'm just gonna tell you what to do right now so now that you're on 4.1 firmware and you have the updated baseband you do not need to update to 4.2.1 um, 
if you have that, well, of course you'll have it. So all you have to do is jailbreak using Lime Rain. Now I'll put a link. It'll be up here. Um, it's the Lime Rain jailbreak. You'll do that, and then you'll go into Cydia and install Ultra Snow. And it's as simple as that, guys. That was a really quick fix, and I'm really sorry that it took this long, but hopefully this will fix everyone's problems with their device being stuck in recovery mode. Now, please give me a thumbs up, guys. Um, I worked pretty hard for this video, and make sure to subscribe and leave a comment. Um, just try and help other people if they're having trouble, guys, because I can't be there for everyone. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoy your unbricked iPhone.